Hi guys, so I'm Stark and today we are learning about cells and specifically about animal and plant cells and what are the difference between the two. So first of all we're going to look at animal cells which of course are all around us and they're um, in humans and every single animal really and they are very small of course. Alright, so the main things that are in it, now there's one, as you can see in the diagram, there's four of them, I'm not going to go over nuclear membrane, it's not as important, but instead I'll go mitochondria is in there as well. However, we'll start at the top and we'll start with the nucleus, which is very important. And this controls the cell and um, contains our DNA and genes, okay? So that's quite simple, but very important in an animal cell. Then there's the cell membrane. Now do remember that an animal cell doesn't have a cell wall. It does have a cell membrane, but not cell wall. And we'll uh, talk about that later when we talk about plant cells. But the cell membrane uh, controls what substances enter and leave the cell. So it's very, it's quite thin, but of course, if we're, we're in another video, we'll probably talk about specialized cells and about all, all about how, uh, it, how thin it needs to be. In and how, what it wants to let it and everything. Anyway, then we'll go on to cytoplasm, and this is where the um, chemical reactions happen. Okay, the, the ribosomes. Um, so this is where proteins are made, and that's protein synthesis, which is, of course, a bit like photosynthesis, but with proteins. And then the one I mentioned before is um, mitochondria. So this is where aerobic respiration happens to release energy in our cells. So this would be, for example, in something like a sperm cell, you'd have a lot of um, mitochondria because that it can help it move better. Now we'll look at plant cells. Now this um, is quite a bit complicated, so I'll only, well, not that complicated, but I'll only go for the ones that we you really need to know. And um, of course, most of them are the same. So all of them really are the same as in the animal cell, but there are three big differences than in the animal cell. Um, so uh, in the plant cell it contains chloroplasts, okay, and a chloroplast contains green chlorophyll which absorbs sunlight. So this is of course where photosynthesis happens which is how plants get their food and all their energy from. So it's quite very important again. Permanent vacuole um, is where the it contains the cell sap and then the cell wall, now do remember the cell wall is made of cellulose, you will need to know that, and this provides support for the plant cell. Well, those are the plant cells, we'll look soon about specialised cells and everything like that, I hope, um, and maybe even yeast cells, bacteria cells, all that kind of things, but in the meantime, please visit my website, um, the link is below in the description, so please visit that, and thanks for watching, and see you soon, bye! Oh, 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 oh,